Like, what is this next Borderlands game? You know, it's gonna be like Battle Royale or something. <laughs> Battle Royale games are fun. That's not what we're making. <laughs> Is that not a burn, gaming gaming companies out there? That was a burn you deserve. Oh, oh, I think that was directly like a Bethesda burn. <gasps> So I know this probably isn't news to you guys because it's been blowing up all over the internet, but Borderlands 3 was officially announced at PAX East and I want to share my opinions as a huge fan of the Borderlands franchise. I've played all of the Borderlands games and I love the story and the characters and the gameplay, but I want to react to this trailer for the first time with you guys, but I'm not just going to watch the trailer, I also want to share my thoughts and also talk about the future of Borderlands going forward and what I think it means for gaming in general because I think Borderlands is personally one of the best examples of shoot and loot gameplay. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. I'm so excited. didn't play as her, but it's cool to see some familiar faces. Oh, holy crap. Okay, I guess she's a siren. Yes. I'm so excited for the guns. The guns are like the best. The guns are the best. Ooh. There was like a city. Nice. Do we have any dubstep uh, robots? That's what I want to know. <laughs> okay, I was waiting for this to get weird. I'm like, this isn't weird enough for a Borderlands trailer. <laughs> what? Is that Tiny? Yay! Was that Tiny Tina? Yes! Claptrap! Yes! I see some familiar faces. One billion guns, yes! Guns with legs! Oh, yes. I had a gun <clears throat> that would like laugh maniacally when I was, when I put the last time I played it. Yes. Oh, I'm so Yes, yes, I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him. <laughs> oh, I was like, where's my, where's my claptrap? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I want to hear more about the story. I want to hear more about the story. I'm really glad that we're going to have some of the old characters come back. I mean, of course we're going to have some of the old characters come back. But also, like, I, I don't know if you heard me go ooh and ah when the siren like sprouted a bunch of arms. What? Um, I want to see more of the guns for sure and more about the story because Borderlands 1 story was eh. Um, it was it was alright. It like wasn't quite there. It was like you really play Borderlands 1 more for the gameplay. The gameplay was it, it was there in Borderlands 1 and then Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel brought that back and they they made the story interesting especially with handsome jack handsome jack was a great and hilarious villain i don't know how they're gonna top that i hope that they have a great villain but i'm gonna have to watch some more footage and watch the whole panel just to make sure that i don't miss out and i'm not talking about stuff that i don't know about quite yet but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and watch the panel i don't think i'm gonna film my full reaction to that but we will go ahead and see i'm i'm just so excited i'm excited about the guns i'm excited to see the characters that i love i think i saw tina in there i'm pretty sure uh i saw claptrap i'm pretty bad at names but i think i've been getting those names right and yeah just some familiar faces that'll be fun to see fun to see again i'm super stoked for this obviously you yes. want to see some familiar faces 
that is Tiny oh, Tina. Oh, that is Tiny Tina. I was right. Oh. She's actually older. a little older now. My little um, Tina's grown you know up. What? I'm going to do something that's actually not like on the script. Is she still like blowing things up? I, I hope so. Talking. There's I'm so guessing many awesome, so. Um, um, I don't know if you guys I caught I knew this. I saw Handsome Jack's That's obviously face. Handsome Jack's mask. Um, yeah. We threw that in there because we're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the actual panel had some technical difficulties. It took them a while to actually show the trailer. Oh, I was just cringing for them. I felt so bad for them. I can't imagine how awful that must have been. But they eventually got to the trailer, which I've already watched with you guys. And I have to say I'm really excited. I don't know what the story is gonna be, or at least the small details about the story, but I will be sure to talk about it as news comes out. I'll be sure to talk about the story. Um, but I might just avoid seeing too many trailers and too many things because I've learned not to hype myself up too much for games because every time I do that, it's just been, there's just been a lot of franchises that have disappointed me. I don't think Borderlands 3 will do that. I have high hopes for this game. I have high hopes for what Gearbox will create. Um, but there are quite a few franchises that have disappointed me in the last two years. I just think about like, you know, Bioware and Bethesda as two companies, just companies that have truly disappointed me and a lot of their fans this year and I hope that they make a comeback and that they create games that their fans enjoy but they're I felt that that burn at the beginning was very well deserved <laughs> and that was something that I was planning on talking about in this video before they even addressed that so one trend that I've noticed just any gamer will notice is that video game companies will try to pick up like what's hot what's what's making a lot of money in the gaming industry right now like they look at video game success and they try to emulate that right and that's just business like that makes sense and that's not always a bad thing I mean art imitates art right but sometimes games in their pursuit of money, or I should say game companies, in the pursuit of money will often lose the passion and lose all of the details that make a game special and make it unique, especially you, what makes it unique, right? And Borderlands is one of those games that I've played that I have not really played a game like it. It is truly a unique piece of work. It brings something to the table that few games do and I am kind of sad that it's a little bit underrated amongst my friend group. Maybe it's just because a lot of my friends play more like RPGs and stuff like that. They don't really play shooter games but I don't really hear many of my friends talking about this. I usually have to play this game with other um, people I've met on YouTube which I'll probably do when this game comes out. I'd like to maybe do some fan like meetups through playing or something that would be really cool I did that with Borderlands 2 where I just like asked people on Twitter I was like hey who wants to play this game with me and then just got a bunch of friends together to play through through uh through YouTube and through Twitter so I might just do that with Borderlands 3 because like I said many of my friends don't play this game but but it's I look at games like Bioware's Anthem and Fallout 76 and you know Fallout 76 especially was like trying to be this uh, battle royale game from a company that had no experience making those types of games um, and it failed miserably it's doing terribly and although I think it is totally possible to branch out and to create something new Sometimes it's not always the most wisest decision to make. It's not the most wise risk to take. And then I look at Anthem that was trying to be a shoot and loot and it truly lacked, 
I mean, it had a lot of technical issues, which is what I expect from a Bioware game, really. But it truly lacked, like, soul. It lacked spirit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Borderlands has a lot of things going for it. It's truly unique. It has this very interesting, like, cartoonish aesthetic that I haven't seen in any game, or at least many games that I can think of instantly. It has a unique aesthetic. It has a loon shoot that works because all of the guns, the technology for this game, like, randomly generates guns, and, and the guns, everyone you pick up is a little bit different, and they're all unique, so you're not going to get the same gun over and over again. But also, you have these rare guns that do really interesting things. Like I said when I was reacting to the trailer, one of the guns that I found in Borderlands 2, what it would do is I could not move when I was holding the gun. So I had to stay put, and it was a very powerful gun, but it would scream as I was shooting it. Instead of shooting bullets, like making a bullet sound, it sounded like a bandit screaming. <laughs> And I remember when I was playing this with friends, with YouTube friends, and just laughing my butt off. I mean, that's you do that a lot when you play Borderlands games, is you just laugh because there's all these just random weird moments that happen. And not only that, with like Handsome Jack with the Borderlands 2 at Borderlands pre-sequel, um, but also Tales from the Borderlands, is that he provided this interesting villain just a hilarious character and they did some really dramatic things with the story that I wasn't expecting. I mean it was both hilarious and really dark at times so I hope that they have, um, I haven't looked into it but I hope that they have fantastic writers working on Borderlands 3 and making the villain and the conflict really interesting as well um, but I, I'm sure they will. Um, yeah, so it's just a unique game, and I think a lot of gaming companies can learn from that. <laughs> like, if you want to create, start from a place that's unique, start from a place that's fresh. I think trying to cram, like, a certain genre into your game just for the sake of making money, it's not always the smartest thing to do. That's the lesson I think that people can learn from Borderlands. But I'd like to hear what you guys think about this trailer. What do you guys think about Borderlands? Do you care? I know some people, some of my friends just don't care because this isn't their type of game. But I think Borderlands is really great at attracting not only gamers like me that prefer single player story. Like I am not the kind of person that plays online that plays multiplayer. I just don't. It attracts players like me that are into single player games, but it also attracts people that are into multiplayer games. So it has the best of both worlds with that. But yeah, I'd like to hear what you think about this. Um, I know I ranted for a little bit, but I just wanted to share my opinion on everything that's going on and how excited I am for this new game. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I should go.